All right, in this video, we're going to be going over the, uh, the Leica Connect server. Um, this is basically an interface where from any internet connected device, uh, using Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or your phone, uh, basically anything you can uh, go in, see your, uh, your rover tablets, upload uh, files to your machines, to the rover, um, retrieve files from the machine or the rover. Uh, do some visualization. So I'll show you how this works. I've got a, uh, a demo account set up here. I'm just at the connect.lika-geosystems.com. I'm going to hit log in. I'm going to accept the license agreement. This just has to be done for the first time. And then uh, I've just got a project named our training facility. So inside of here, um, I don't have any. Uh, uh, any data loaded yet so um, but just kind of show you the interface um, so on here I can see I have one tablet online this is actually a tablet I have sitting on my desk right now uh, it's automatically connected to the server with a sim card inside of it you can use the hotspot um, so I'm going to click on it here so if a guy calls you up needs support or calls us uh, we can just click on their unit and then click this eyeball up here and now we can view their screen. Um, if we hit this control, puts us in control mode. And now everything I push on here is uh, happening on the screen I have on my desk in front of me. Uh, so I can make any changes I need and really provide some good support for our customers. Uh, or you can do cross training, things like that. Uh, so since I don't have any data on the Connex server, uh, I'm going to hit the undock here just to. I'll show you how it works. So let's see, I'm going to move this down here so we can kind of see what's happening on the screen. Bring this over. So I'm going to back up and go to sync. And inside sync, I have a, a folder here. I can create a new folder. And we'll just call this uh, demo project. Add. So inside of here, I'm going to drop uh, whatever files I want to be in this project. So I will hit the upload button, choose file, got demo files, and I'm going to bring in the surface and line work. Same, what kind of file is it? Uh, it's a reference model. You can change it to control or road data. If it's a coordinate system, uh, you can define it. Um, so we're also going to go in here and say, what type of unit are we sending this to? If it's just you have multiple crews and you don't want everybody to have everything, uh, you can pick which one you want to specifically. Uh, but we're just going to say field crew so everybody in our company has access to it. And we'll hit upload. And then um, once we've hit upload on here, it's been added back to it. Uh, added to the projects. So now you can see on my tablet, it's let me know, hey, a new file has been added. Um, do you want to download it now? I'm going to hit no since we haven't created a project. So I'm going to go on to projects, hit the green plus, it's called demo, demo job, hit the check, and then we'll hit our blue dot to go to the next page. Tell it what kind of data we want to bring in. Uh, defaults to the connect server. So then I'll select my two files I want to bring in. And then I uh, tell it also want to bring in a coordinate system. And we're just going to use, uh, we'll just pick one here. It really don't matter for the demo. And check. So now it's letting me know what it's brought in and that it's set it up as the active coordinate system. So now you can see we're in the job. Uh, we've got all of our data loaded and, uh, and we're ready to go to work. So if you have, uh, you know, jobs always have some kind of revision at some point. So uh, you want your field crews working off the latest information all the time. Uh, you don't want them to be working for a day or two off the old revision and uh, causing a bunch of rework uh, just saves a lot of problems 
uh, transferring USB sticks to the field. Uh, it's just a pain. So uh, avoid all that with the connect server. Uh, so that's kind of how the control mode works and loading files. If we want to export to it, we just do the same thing. So we want to export this file. And we would just tell it we want to export to the connect server and send it on. Uh, so I'm going to close out the uh, view pan here and show a few of the other things inside the server. So if we go to track uh, in real time, if they were out there working with the rover or dozer or whatever it is, uh, you would see where they're at on the project, moving around on the project. Also, if you click the unit, um, this one hasn't been in the field yet, but it would show the, uh, the date that it was used, the amount of time it was used per day. Uh, if you click on it, it would actually show you on Google Earth uh, a line showing the area the rovers traveled during the day, so you can kind of see the area they were working in. Um, and then if we go up here, we've got a visualization. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go to 3D. It's kind of replacing visualization. Uh, actually, I've got to create a define the coordinate system in the project. So I'm going to go to uh, configure and let it know we're in uh, USA. Um, we're using uh, let's pick Georgia West and update. So now I can go back to my 3D. So it shows where we're at and come over here, turn on my files, see where the, uh, see where the project's going to lay to get a good visual of what's going on on the site. Uh, see the surface and 3D on here. Um, and then also as built data as it's done in the field can be exported back and updated on the map so you can uh, see what's happening out on site to keep up with everything. Um, so some powerful tools there. It's uh, not geo-referenced imaging. It's all just uh, string uh, satellite imagery. So um, no having to import it in CAD and create geo-referenced image files and upload them or anything. It's just automatically done. Um, this utilization application, and here you can create a um, basically uh, schedules for you know uh, working hours and uh, you can kind of see if there's been work done afterwards and kind of keep up with your productivity that way um, productivity application itself it's a little more detailed you can have it uh, aggregate all the points shot in the field so every time a shot is taken in the field it's uploaded back to the connect server uh, and aggregated into the data so that way your crew doesn't actually have to do any transfer it's automatically happening every time they make any shot uh, so that's a, a really cool feature there the earth mover this is a uh, haul truck app we can uh, put on haul trucks to monitor uh, the paths they're taking make sure they're doing the most efficient work see so you, you know if it's idling uh, downtime that sort of thing uh, really really powerful tool here um, and uh, very inexpensive uh, usually, uh, if we help somebody over the phone with this uh, and it eliminates one service call, it's, you know, paid for itself in the year. Service calls ain't that expensive, but the so that just shows how cheap the software really is uh, to have this kind of power. Uh, again, you see it on your excavator, grader, dozer. It uh, doesn't matter what you have. Uh, you can use the software. I um, hope this has been a good overview and um, check back with us for more videos in the future.